Okay, now we know why it's equal to ln x plus z over x. It's the general solution to this differential equation. And we would like to find a specific solution that satisfies this differential equation and also satisfy the initial condition, which we have y of 2 is equal to 1. And remember, when they write it down this way, it means that well, since y is a function of x, we have x is being 2. And if x is equal to 2, then we are going to, we are going to get y is equal to 1. And then because we have a general format already, all the solution must be in this form. All I need to do is plug in 2 for x, plug in 1 for y, and then solve for c, and I'll be done. So let's do it. Plug in 1 for y, so we have 1, and that's equal to ln, and the x value is 2. So we have ln, and then put parentheses to emphasize that 2 is inside of ln, and then the c is outside. Over, we have the one more 2 on the bottom, like that. And now this is just an algebraic equation, we just have to solve for c, and that's it. So we can multiply both sides by 2, so we get 2 is equal to ln 2 plus c. And then of course, we subtract ln 2 on both sides, and c will be 2 minus ln 2. And then to find the solution that will satisfy this initial condition, and also the differential equation, I just need to plug in the c value that we got into the general form. That's all. So y is equal to ln x, close parentheses, plus the c value is that, 2 minus ln 2. And then we have over x. And this is it.